Hello. Um, uh, how should I put this? Uh, all you know, I was in the hospital. For those of you who don't know the reason why, only a few do. Uh, the, uh, that we only made that relevant to a few. Um, so I was in the mental ward of the psychiatric hospital. Well, not the psychiatric hospital, but it's the, the psych ward of my local hospital on, on Fort Knox, at Fort Carson. Um, I was there for a week, and uh, I'd only got discharged today. While I was there, I learned that I have PTSD. So, that's... Here is actually my discharge paperwork. They actually, another diagnostic, diagnosis they gave me was a major depressive disorder, which I will get to that. They have prescribed me several medications. I have to take five different medications. So, one, two of them, was acetylene and Wellbutrin. Those together are my antidepressants, and I take them in the morning. I have this other one that I have to take at night plus another one. Some The other one's as needed, but this one I have to take every night. It's mini press. Mini press is actually a blood pressure medication, but it also doubles as a treatment for nightmares, which I get from my PTSD. And um, Another one is an anxiety medication. I take this about I take this basically when I need it. I can only take up to four take up to four pills a, a day, so but anytime I have like an anxiety episode or some kind of PTSD episode, I have this. Um, don't mind that sound. If you heard it, you probably only hear my mic. Um, yeah, so. During my time in the hospital, I did a lot of thinking. I had to think how, what could be causing it. That was one of the major things. And they helped me figure things out. Which they learned why I was depressed for the nine few months. Past nine months. Um... So, a lot of things, if you don't know that I've actually had been abused by my mother, which I found out what my PTSD is about. And it causes me to be angry, have anxiety, depression. A lot of things happen. I've actually had a panic attack at one point. It's not easy to talk about. But I'm trying to force it out. Now, why they sent me to the hospital? I, um, it was in a dark place. I wasn't in the right mind. My my head was fueled by the emotion and the depression, and I was I was almost about to kill myself. I was going to cut my wrist in the bathroom of my depot. But what stopped me? was my behavior help or my therapist. And if you guys don't know what behavior help is, it, although if you don't know, it's kind of obvious by the name, but basically my therapist. They called me, the building called me to check on me, and they had discovered that they wanted, they wanted to talk to my chain of command, and they recommended that I go to the hospital. I went there, and all that. Is she okay? Sorry, our child is constipated, so. She's having trouble pooping in her, so, regardless of that. Um, they sent me appointments that I have to do tomorrow. 
Oh, and the next day. They actually um, were thinking about med boarding me. Because of it. Which means I'll be out of the army for medical reason. Um, yeah. Apparently I was ambulatory. Um, yeah. There's not much I can read on here without giving out too much stuff. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Can you come on the computer, please? Sure, sure. Um, I'll do that. I wore scrubs the entire time. They took group. We took group classes with the other patients. Now, some of the other patients had different reasons why they were there. Whether it's misguided misinformation. Or like they're like they're not supposed to be there. They're actually not supposed to be there. They're just people assume something. Um, other things were drug overdose, but mine was a deer. I was the. Uh, some of them were drug overdose due to attempted suicide. Some of them were just using too many drugs, uh, uh, not intentionally trying to kill themselves. Um, me, I wanted to cut myself, cut myself, bleed out. I probably repeated myself just now. Sorry if I seem more hyper than usual. I'm actually on a medication. I'm on the medication now. My, my, uh, my uh, antidepressants. My two antidepressants. Sorry if I'm gonna get silent. I'm trying to think of what I want to say. So, oh yeah, here's what I wanted to say. So, because of my PTSD and depression, I'm taking this time away from YouTube. Well, away from recording YouTube. This is gonna be my last video. Of, oh before my hiatus. So, yeah. I'll probably record much later in the months. But, I will be back. And don't worry, I'll be making con uh, the best content I can make. So, I probably don't have the best content, which I don't know to. So I'm also tired at the same time, which really sucks when you're hyper and tired. Because you can't go to sleep you also have trouble staying up at the same time. Uh, while focusing. You know, what should I say? Not falling asleep. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take that break. And uh, focus on me. I need that time. To focus on me. I need to work out my trauma. I probably gonna get PTS induced from talking about my trauma, but well, we're not worrying. I'm probably gonna have an episode later. I'm not having one now, but I can feel it. I'm gonna try to work myself out of that episode. So hopefully, I don't have to take the meds. That's what I'm trying to avoid is medication. I'm probably babbling now because I'm hyper. Well, anyway, this is what I wanted to say to you guys, that I will be coming back to YouTube soon. I'm going to be on this hiatus for my mental health. And I'll be back. Okay. So, bye.